Nigeria, what happened to our 2016 budget? That's the question on everyone's mind. On Monday, news broke that the budget, which contained hundreds of pages of President Buhari's financial plan for 2016, was missing. Nowhere to be found. Incredible, right? This discovery was just one day before the Senate was due to debate the budget. Immediately, lots of finger pointing within the government began, and a search party was formed to locate the missing budget. Members of the Senate began saying that the budget was stolen from the National Assembly by none other than President Buhari himself. Buhari's media team responded by saying he had nothing to do with it and once presented, the budget is in their property. And you know Nigerian and African social media in general went up in flames. People were expressing their embarrassment for the country and simply making jokes about the seriousness of the Nigerian government. On Thursday, new revelations were made. The Senate said that an aide to President Buhari, Ita Inang, had made changes to it. Could Buhari be behind this for real? That's what a lot of folks are wondering. So right now, the Nigerian Senate will not move forward in finalizing the 2016 budget until the real version is returned. This missing budget drama, of course, did not sit well with the opposition party, PDP, who have demanded that an impeachment process against Buhari begin. Nigeria is known as the giant of West Africa. In 2014, it became Africa's largest economy, and rightfully so. However, the country struggles with endemic corruption, extreme income inequality, and ethnic division. President Buhari won the 2015 elections in a landslide victory and promised to fight corruption and be the change that Nigeria needs. But today, Buhari may be getting the side eye. Do you think he had a hand in this whole missing budget debacle? You just had your news update with the break. I'm Tracy Thompson. Thanks for watching.